Good morning everyone. How are you? Hope all of you are fine and enjoying this new kind of teaching. So, in computers, today we will learn chapter 1 that is computer and electronic machine. So, let's start. First of all, what is a computer? Computer is an electronic machine. What is a computer? Computer is an electronic machine. Everybody knows it is made by man. It is used in almost everywhere. So, computer is used everywhere. You can see everywhere computer is present in banks, in schools, in almost every task we use the computer. A computer helps us to do different things. We can draw pictures, type letters, play games, solve sums, watch movies and cartoons and listen to music. These all the tasks are performed using the computer. So, for almost every task we need a computer. Computer is a very useful machine. These are the uses of the computer. Without the computer, we can't do so many things and everywhere it is used. Now, see the difference between computer and man. A man is not as fast as the computer. Computer works very fast. It makes the calculation in many seconds. In, in nanoseconds it works. But man takes time to work. A man can make mistakes while doing calculation or while doing any work. A man can make mistakes. But computer is always right. Computer works on man's order. We have to, man have to instruct the computer. And according to the instructions, computer works since it is a machine. But man does not need any order from anyone. So, this is the difference between computer and man. Now, computer does not have any feeling. Computer does not have any feeling or emotion. It does not cry or laugh. So, it is free of feelings and IQs and emotion. And last difference is a man may forget but computer has a good memory. A man can forget the things but computer does never forget. It keeps the things saved. It keeps your photos and videos saved. Now see the working cycle of the computer. In working cycle, first of all we have to give instructions to the computer. And that is called input. As we give the instructions, computer work on the given instruction. That is called the process. Means computer is working on the given input. And after the processing is complete, it gives you the result. That is called the output. This you can see, this you can understand using the example of your washing machine. In washing machine, what you do? You have to put dirty clothes. Those dirty clothes are called input. After the dirty clothes are put, the washing machine wash the clothes and that is called process and after the washing is complete it give you the clean clothes then clean clothes are the output so in our life everywhere we use this cycle input process output so this much for today thank you